All right, so this is something that I hear about all the time and that is rent to own. Today, I wanted to give you my thoughts on that. I'm Luis Cuevas here with MakeNorthTexasHome.com and Remax Cross Country. And today I wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on rent to own properties. All right, the first issue that I have with rent to own properties is that you, if you're going to be the one that's signing up for that and wanting to rent to eventually own that, is that keep in mind that title never changes hand. The title is still in the seller's name. And for that reason, if you enter the, into this agreement, whether it be a handshake or a contract that you draw up together, remember that the seller is entitled. So if you're renting this property thinking that you're going to be buying it, you're paying it off as you're renting, the reality is number one, that the seller can still sell it. Number two, if the seller um, has a mortgage on the property, they can get foreclosed on and all that money that you put into it could be lost. Number three, you can't personalize it. And if you do, if you do personalize it, say you paint, you add a deck, you spend some money on it, all that money could be lost really quickly. Why? Because it's not yours. It's not in your name. I see that all too often. People get way too comfortable thinking that it's theirs now. And at the end of the day, it's not. They end up getting foreclosed. The seller sells it. Or I've even seen it where the seller passes away. Their kids show up. They don't care about that contract you had or that agreement that you had. They want to sell it, get the money right away, and you're out of luck. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people get taken advantage with a rent to own situation. And I would strongly, strongly, strongly discourage you from doing that. But let me, let me, let me guess what you're thinking in the back of your mind. Number one, I don't have money to put on a down payment to buy a house. My credit isn't strong enough. I can't qualify for a home loan. And what I would tell you is don't worry about it. Sacrifice some time to work on your credit build up that down payment it may take you six months it may take you a year or two but that year or two that you're sacrificing i promise you will pay off in the long run because i have seen people that have been on a property for 15 years thinking they're renting to own the owner dies and they're out of luck everything goes out the window they have no rights and let me end by, by telling you this as as a real estate agent here in the state of texas there are promulgated forms there are promulgated contracts so if i want to put a contract on a property i use a promulgated contract meaning that the state of texas put it together and said here lewis this is the contract that you will use for all sales in this case a one to four family sale, a normal traditional sale. the state of texas does not have a promulgated contract for a rent to own it doesn't exist is that telling you something it, it should because the law is not on your side it is on the seller side because they will have the rights and you won't. Hopefully I convinced you not to get into a rent to own property. It sounds fun and nice and easy, but I'm telling you, you will just end up getting taken advantage of and it's really, really not in your favor. So hopefully you learned a thing or two. If I can do anything for you, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Make North Texas Home, or you can check out more videos on my website, which is MakeNorthTexasHome.com. Thank you so much.